Alright, welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. On today's episode, we will be playing with Embor, Chinchino Ninetales. The idea here is that uh, Ninetales and Ability Boar abuse fire energy wonderfully. And Chinchino can do... Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> that Chinchino can do a fair amount of damage with Rocky Helmet and Plus Power. And it's kind of a clumsy, strange, weird deck. It's not terribly strong. It's more of a fun deck, but uh, hey, we don't, we'll never know what's going to happen. So, we have an opportunity here. Actually, the best hand I've started with. I don't know what video will go up. This is the fourth game I'm recording with it. But this is my first collector start. So, my opponent will start first. I almost guarantee it. Because he mulliganed. Wow. I am stunned, if I'm honest. So I will go ahead and collect her for a, let's see, Vulpix, Vulpix, Cleffa. And since he uses Typhlosion, I honestly don't care if I lay down the burn tower. And at this point, my opponent must be thinking, I am out of my mind. And he'd be right. Alright, so the question is, do I eek or do I nine tails draw? And I think the answer is... Eek. Hope for some Pokecoms. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a Tepic. Perhaps I should have gone for a Tepic. I don't know. But we shall eek. Another collector. Pokecom Tepig. Chinchino plus power. Aww. Zekrom. All right, and a Chinchino. I didn't notice that. I just noticed the Typhlosion. But now I'm actually excited because this will probably be another fun match because his deck is as silly as mine. So, rescue onto the Reshram. I assume he'll pass. I will lay down a Tepig. I will swap out an Embor. <clears throat> Four, the nine tails. I will. Oh yeah, I forgot about Burn Tower. We actually might be able to do something here. Come on, darn. Power up, Chinchino. Should I collect her? There's no reason not to. So we have two nine tails, a Tepig, and. We'll just go ahead and grab another Chinchino and hope he knocks out my Cleffa so I can free up some space on my bench. All right, so. And again, I'm using Eek as a crutch. Two, three, four, five. All right, so we should be able to get something going here. We have access to two roast reveals on our next turn. Oh, he's going to be able to outrage my Clefo with that rainbow. So, the game is starting to glitch up, which seems about right after four games. And we'll see what else he's got in this crazy deck. Actually, it looks like a whole lot of nothing. Alrighty, so we're going to have to watch our outrages here. <laughs> or watch out for his outrages, I guess. So what we need here... Yeah, we'll have to play smart with the Outrage, but it doesn't look like... I initially thought this was going to be Reshram Typhlosion with the way he mulliganed, but that is not the case. And we are really glitching up. You can hear it in the music. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do... Swap out for another Nine Tails. And we have two ability boars. One Nine Tails is prized. No big deal. Should have counted my fishermen, because I'm kinda hoping for one. And 
and we'll roast reveal. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and burn tower. All right, I feel a little better now. All right, roast reveal. Hey, that ain't so bad. And another roast reveal. Why not? Hey, <laughs> that's so ridiculous. And I'm actually, let's see here. Um, we might as well just catch out one of the others here. Um, without another energy, uh, and there's no plus power in here, correct? Yeah, there's not really a whole lot we can do. So we'll just save this energy for a roast reveal. Catch her out. Probably Zekrom. And I'm just happy. I'm satisfied to pass for another turn. That's one problem with bad decks. Kind of a lot of setup, which means not a lot of early attacking. So he's going to drop his... Alright, so what we need here... Eh, let's burn tower again. Fail! Roast reveal. Tepe candy. Charon. Obviously we'll Charon. And get no energy. I'll be damned. All right. Let's think here. What do we want to do? Meh, I'll let him hit into me. Because if he hits me, I've got Rocky Helmet. Hopefully, I'll be able to get myself into some energy on this next turn. And that'll just be that. I'll be able to do the damage I need to do. So we're almost ready f to see Typhlosion Prime. Maybe we'll just catch that thing out. That actually is a pretty good idea. I don't want him to have energy acceleration with the big dragons. So. He does another Cyndaquil. Yeah, I'll definitely just attack those things. I don't care. Alrighty. Burn tower. Fail. One energy. That sucks. How many do we have in here? Whew. Need a fisherman. There. Alright, next turn everything is going to be just fine. So let's start getting crap out of my hand since it's so ginormous. Go ahead and put in an Embor. Grab a Chinchino. Lay down another Mincino. Let's see, we got a candy we could get rid of. And hey, just Rocky helmets everywhere. collector anymore. Don't need collector or candy. Should I grab a catcher? Eh, I'm just gonna save it. Don't need to use the cards. So uh, as long as we don't get end here, uh, <laughs> we'll be okay. So he'll outrage. Oh yeah, I forgot Typhlosion Prime was coming, but it looks like he has a pretty dead hand. Will he attack into me? Will you fall for my trap? Because I will do the way for the knock. Oh, we did it. Yes. All right. Now we're in fine shape. Absolutely fine shape. Hey, even better. How much is in here? Still have three in there. Twelve in there. No 
need to be greedy. Let's see. I'm just gonna try and get my hand to a manageable size in case I get end, I guess. And I don't know if the game is glitching, being slow. Flash is terrible. I wish this was on a different platform. So we look in, look at that. Just nothing but good stuff in there. Two plus power, two catcher, two energy, two fisherman. It took us a long time to set up though. But we're just here to have fun. Alrighty, now we're in good shape. So I will just go ahead and do the way for the knockout. Um, just taking another look and do the wave for a hundred. So that is about the only way we can take out dragons is to hope they attack into me with the rocky helmet. And again, if he attacks me, he's going to put himself right into the hundred damage range. Although he could blue flare with a fire. Nah, it doesn't even matter. So he, I imagine, will blue flare. Let's see what he does. Will he blue flare? Ah, he realizes there's this burn tower. All right, so we have no energy in the discard. Blue Flare. Now we have two energy in the discard. And I will just do the wave. No big deal. So, let's see. I will Fandango. If you haven't noticed yet, I run three Charon, and that is my only draw support. In case you were wondering why it sets up so slow, or just in general looking at everything, I thought I should point that out. Two energy in the discard, I will say save. He does have a rescue though. Let's take a look at the rest of the board here. He can't attack me next turn in any meaningful way. I think I shall. Take out a cool lava. Rush Ram is he's just gonna rescue it. So I'll, I'm thinking I wanna save that for my last prize. So I will junk arm a candy. No. No. And a collector. For a catcher. And I will just catch her up a Quilava. Ashram's not that scary. At this point, anyway. So I'll do the wave for 80. Which is just fine. Hang on to what I have in my hand. And do the wave. I imagine he'll... Wow, he puts up the Rush Ram again. Puts up a Zekron. So I can see one, two, two of my next prizes. Three of my next prizes, really. Kulava, Chinchino, Rush Ram, and if he knocks this thing out, yeah, I guess I could just knock it out just to save myself from another blue flare. Ooh, he doesn't attack into me, which is actually strange, because obviously he has to realize I have another basic. So what I'm going to do, he didn't knock it out. Cleffa, yeah, there's not much going on here. I actually don't really need anything. I am on a roll, and I am flipping awesome for Burn Tower. Um, so I need to do 100 damage. Let's think. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and um, super rod, and 
then collector. For that chinchino. Yep, so there's another chinchino in there, so I will have access to that. So I'll just lay down another chinchino. Take a quick look. Oh, whoops. Clicked on it twice and do the wave for 100. He will get to put it back in his hand, but that will again remove all energy from play. Look at all that energy. And let's just double check the discs or the deck, 10 cards. And we're fairly confident we know what's in there. Everything is now going beautifully. Wow, he's just going to power up Rush Ram again. I'm stunned. Absolutely stunned. And he gets another Tails on a Burn Tower. I kind of feel bad for him. Because I think I've gotten three heads in a row. In fact, I think I have... Yeah, I have no more energy in my discard. And a Fisherman. I'm in good, good, good shape. Um, I don't... Let's see... Yeah, I could just save the triple plus power for the end. So what I'm going to do here... Actually, I'm just going to save... Uh, again, I'm in good shape. I don't really need to rock the boat here. I'll just catch her. Out the cool lava. I'll just take it out. And then he'll hit into me with his Rash Ram with an Outrage, I'm sure. So two prizes to go. So my opponent has clearly opened a lot of packs of black and white. And a lot of packs of heart gold, soul, silver. Oh, there's an Emerging Powers. Gold, Silver, Black, White, Call of Legends, Gold, Silver. Yep, guess he has done some trading. Maybe he had a couple theme decks. What is he thinking about? I'm not certain. And this slowness is not making this game less interesting. This will be the final one I record for the evening. I was actually hoping to fall a little bit more behind so I can make a comeback. And my opponent concedes. So, kind of got to see here how Rocky Helmet uh, worked, especially with dragons. I, I do play with the three plus power as well, so they attack into me. That's 20 with the Rocky Helmet. A plus power puts them right into do the wave range. And that's that.